Hi, and welcome to the Dr. Donovan YouTube channel, which is all about making medicine easy to understand. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the angiotensin converting enzyme blood test, also known as ACE, and we're going to cover three main topics. First of all, we're going to look at what is ACE, Next, we're going to look at why it's used. And finally, we're going to look at how you interpret the test. So first of all, what is ACE, also known as angiotensin converting enzyme? Well, it's something that helps to regulate blood pressure. It converts angiotensin 1, which is an inactive protein, to angiotensin 2. This causes arteries to contract, making them temporarily narrower and therefore increasing blood pressure. ACE is found throughout the body, but it's typically found in higher concentrations in the lungs. So why is ACE used? Well, increased levels of ACE are sometimes produced by cells found at the outside borders of granulomas. Granulomas are a classic feature of a disease called sarcoidosis, which is a multi-system disorder, which mainly affects the lungs, but can also affect other organs, including the liver, the skin, and the heart. Approximately 50 to 80% of patients who've got active sarcoidosis will have raised levels of ACE in their bloodstream, which can go up and down as the disease progresses and changes. So if you measure ACE at the early stages of sarcoid, you can then use it as a potential marker to monitor response to steroid treatment during the course of the disease. So how do you interpret the blood test? Well, if angiotensin converting enzyme concentrations are high, other diseases have been ruled out, and the patient has clinical signs of sarcoidosis, then it's likely they have sarcoidosis. However, in between 20 to 50% of cases, a patient could have sarcoid, but ACE levels may be normal. This is because the disease could be in the inactive state, so important to bear this factor in mind. As ever, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you remember to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Thanks again for watching and I hope this was useful. Until next time, bye.